guys, it is 21 minutes past seven at night and I thought I want to come in, in here and just sort through some stuff of what I can do and I thought why not, why just put the camera on, why not? So these flowers, these I got from the range, they were just in, in a pack. So I'm thinking of putting them four flowers on there. Now I'm hoping these crystals stay where they are. Mum always says if there's crystals in something, they'll shine. But if you put them in on their own, they go dull. I don't know. So I'm going to test them out anyway. And I'm going to put, I think, um, and it's so, it, it, it stirs in so nicely. I mean, you can tell there's, there's bubbles in that one. This will hopefully do because, like, as I say, I, I want a mega thin layer. Just something I can stick things to because I've learned from experience of putting flowers just down on the silicon moulds. They leave holes underneath your things and when you're doing some, something as pretty as this, you don't really want holes in it. See what I mean? You've got like loads of bubbles in there now so... When I do do it in the bath, in the water bath, what, what, what else would the bath be? Um, I don't have to leave it the five minutes, I just stir it together and then just pour it, but wow, yeah. No, I'm not stirring that much, that, that frantically. Uh, I am going to have to leave this for five minutes to try and get rid of the bigger bubbles. Some of these uh, white quartz chips in just around here and there, I don't know. Um, but the other thing I got from the range were these. How cool are them? And I'm gonna put, so the theme is like flowers and butterflies. So I've, what I'm gonna do tonight is, so that I get a nice base, I'm just gonna do maybe two ounces of ep epoxy resin and I'm just gonna put it on the bottom. And I'm going to leave it overnight to dry so that I can stick these on and then obviously you don't get any holes in the bottom. But these I'm just going to dot everywhere all around it, like going into the centre. And then that will be the top instead of the underneath being the top because I think I'm just going to put clear in. Because I think any glitter will just spoil it. And Because what, why would you put glitter over these? You know, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to mix up some resin now. And then I don't have to fart around with it in the morning. You'll have to let me know if you like these more impromptu videos or not. Because to be honest, I never know what anybody wants nowadays. Well, I do. They want nail videos, but I can't do them anymore. Not, not like I used to. All right, so I'm going to do one ounce of this. Hopefully that's enough. Let's do one with this one. When it's because I usually put in in a, a bath like a, a, a bath. Well, it is a bath, and then I'll try get rid of the bubbles while while they are in the mold. So I'll carry on stirring this, and I'll come back when I'm ready to pour it. Okay, I'm going to try and separate these now evenly. I have done some other projects off camera, so I will show you them tomorrow when I come back and do these. Because uh, one's turned out alright, and the one that I didn't think would turn out okay has turned out really nice. It's typical, isn't it? Anyway, it is what it is. Alright, so I'm just going to push this. I'm getting more bubbles doing, doing it with this. With it being so thin, this should literally... Um, dry in a couple of hours anyway because on a night time we have the heating on and the radiator is literally just there so if I keep them in earshot of the radiator they should dry pretty quick I've got a mask on and I can't see I've got it right up to my eyeballs and you have to put your glasses so far down all right so this is the next day so is uh, you probably can't tell there is a little the, the resin still obviously bendy because it's so thin so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these back in the places that i had them anyway and i'm going to add a few oh look get out of my project yeah and i'm going to add a few more of these flowers these are the ones i had fr from amazon but they were in like a, a this one of these 
I don't think I want anything out of there which isn't already in here. So what I'm going to do with the flowers to make sure that they stay down because I know from doing my chest pieces that these flowers want to come to the top. So I'm going to get some UV resin, I'm going to pour a tiny drop down and then I'm going to put the flower on top because when I put the UV resin in I don't want everything rising to the top and then it's going to cause me even more stress. Oh my god, I've got another one there. I'm already going through enough stress with Bailey at the moment. I don't need anything to go wrong with me resin pieces because I will just cry. Anyway, so I'm just going to get a few little bits out, which I don't know whether these are. Well, it might be nice contrast, maybe the blues to the white. I don't really know. Oh God, I keep saying that, don't I? We'll see. I'll put the white ones in first. And then we'll see where we are. But I know like these coloured ones will. And maybe yellow. But anyway, I'll do it as, as I go along. Whatever I put in here, I'm hoping doesn't go over the over the like as it's as high as this. If it does, then I'll have to cut some down. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And I'm gonna do the same with these. I'm gonna put the resin. Uh, on first, put these on, and then I'm going to, whatever I do, I'm going to get this torch and then cure it from underneath, and that way you gain straight to the resin underneath, so that's what I'm going to do, so I shall whiz through this part first, well not too much, but you know what I mean, if I don't, if I don't um, fast forward, you'll be sitting through a, a bunch of silence, because apparently I can't do two things at once, as I have learned over the last five or six weeks. <laughs> Alright, so the other thing I'm doing is getting some of these crystals and I'm going I don't know these all I, I just hope they don't melt. If they do, they do. Oh, I keep doing this. So I've got some UV resin in there. I'm getting it with a dotting tool. I'm just dotting it where I want it. Pop it on and then do the UV lamp straight away. There we go. So we leave that at that. So they look quite cute. I'm also going to, when I put a thin layer in, I'm going to put some of these beads in because I know they'll they'll sink to the bottom. Um, I just hope they stay where they put. So I'm just going to put a few on here as well. The UV resin again is in a warm bath, and then I can start pouring slowly in these so that everything, including underneath these flowers, will get uh, resin inside of them.
right we're on to the resin finally so i think i'm going to pour six ounces i think and so hopefully that's going to be enough i'm using let's resins epoxy resin all right i'm going to stir this to an inch of its life and get every single bubble that there is going in there i've got a feeling this isn't going to be enough but we shall see All right, I've just mixed another one up just in case, but I'm going to put it in this cup just so it's a bit easier to get in there all, all the nooks and crannies. All right, so I'm going to do the big one first. So I'm going to get a really thin nib on it. And then uh, what can I get? I'll get these tweezers and make sure that oh, the resin goes under everywhere. So I'll definitely have to keep an eye on this because I want to get rid of the bubbles, obviously. He's still coming out. All right, let's uh, do the other one now. You know the times when you had about that you wish you had about five pair of hands. This is now. This is my third pair of gloves. I'm doing well. All right, them two are done. So I'm just going to cover them up now, and I'm going to leave them quite a long time to make sure that they're completely cured. Twenty-four hours later. So the crystals are pour in are non-existent you cannot tell where i put them crystals so yeah that was a waste of time because it just melted them you can on little bits you can tell where they were but i cannot believe they just totally melted them anyway let's unmold them and then i'll show you what else i've been working on as well one's glow in the dark so i'll i'll show you now but i'll have to wait till dark time dark how old am i i'll have to wait until it goes dark dark time um to show you the full effect okay let's have a look at this oh my god it is gorgeous okay wow oh, look at that oh wow all right so next time if i did something similar i would not put these that them crystals in now it's you can see through it you can see them like there's been one there one there one there one there so yeah you well i can sort of see that one that one's like still there let me bring you down a bit you see it was on the side you can still see it there but even underneath these um butterflies i still got this going on that is unbelievable Wow, I am in love with this one. It's so cool. It's so clear as well. Like, no bubbles. That is super smashing great. All right, down to my favorite one now. So this idea all started with these flowers. Now, no matter... As I say, when I measured them, I did. I measured them without the little bit of um, uh, resin that I put in, and now they they just on top. The, the the nipple things are on top. I can't get rid of the nipple things, so they just left there. Because obviously I didn't want to overflow it, 
because that's just silly. I noticed I got a bubble right there and I wondered whether that would make a hole, but it hasn't. Oh, it's made a little one. It's not too bad. But again, look how beautiful this is. Oh my God, I am loving this. And again, you can see where the things have been. They've really surprised me. Like, they just look like invisible discs. So there's one there, one there. There's one there, anyway. So, apart from one bubble there, oh, and like a little one there, I got no bubbles un underneath these flowers. I am very impressed with myself. Wow. That is gorgeous with all the little flowers in and the beads and stuff. Look, even the little one there. It is, this resin is so clear, it's ridiculous. So that, that's the centre of it. Them are go- I've, wow. I am floored at how gorgeous these are. Do you know what I might do? I might get some gel polish and go over the, the side in white. Because when I cure it, then I can put a top coat on. Yes! Oh, I might do that. Cool. So one thing I want you to do, I'm not going to put this cup on. I just want you to measure... Yeah, if, you, if somebody wanted wanted it to, for a cup holder, um, it won't interfere with these crystals on top. So I'm glad with I'm glad of that. So I might do the same with this as well. Go around it in white and then put a top coat on, and in between in there as well. All right. So what I did with the rest of the resin, I got these coasters and I put. I think I've, I've managed to fill it half on all of them. So what I'm going to do with these is. I'm going to put something else on top um, and, and make them into, obviously, coasters. But I thought, well, I might as well use the clear resin for something else. So that's what I've done. All right, the next project I've been out, I was working on was these. This is going to be unbelievable for summer. So uh, I didn't film these because uh, they were just, like, plain. And then I thought... I have got to put a top coat on this because it's a bit creased as I put the white, uh, the white, the clear on. I don't know why. I think it's because it was cold in here. Um, but these are glow-in-the-dark stickers and I got these from the range. Again, no idea, but all of, all of the bubbles that were in there seem to gather in the middle on every one of them, which is a bit of a bummer, so I tried to hide them, but, you know, it wasn't that good. Uh, so this one I will show you at night because uh, I, when I was on FaceTime with my mum, I wanted to see how much they did glow and they glow. They are amazing. Again, I'll have to go over, over them with a little bit of UV resin because these two have creased. I have no idea why at all. I, I mean, whew, good lord, they are bad. I mean, I can't sell them like that. As I said... I am going to start selling my pieces. Uh, I might do them on Facebook at first and then just see how I go. Uh, so yeah, they are unbelievable glow-in-the-dark coasters. And the other ones I was working on were these. So I'd seen a video on YouTube and I cannot for the life of me remember who it was. This was this is a couple of weeks ago and this uh, I did these. And she used black and she used her own... A holograph, no, yeah, holographic glitter. Uh, now, I did it the same way she did, but it did, obviously didn't turn out anywhere near the same as what she did. So, this was the top, and this is how it went on the top. Is it? No, that's the bottom. No. So, that's the bottom. But even that looks cool, with a little bit of glitter there, but look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. So, at the time of unmoulding them, I thought, I really don't like these. What's the point? Oh, I might as well just finish them off anyway. Um, so, I decided to do the, the coaster holder. But I am loving how much this these sparkle. They are so... I mean, look at that. They're so pretty. 
So I'm just going to put some gel polish on the edges of these. See how that looks. I don't quite know how it's going to come out, but we'll have a go. I can always skate off if I don't like it. And uh, yeah, let's race through this part then. One minute, 37 seconds later. Right, so I'm going to do, before I go on to the third and fourth um, edge, I'm going to do a second coat on them and top coat them because I'm getting finger marks over them and that's the last thing I want. So, and if you've noticed with the, with the point, I'm going this side and then I'm turning it over and doing that side. That seems to be a little bit easier, but um, yeah, I do not want finger marks all over this. All right, change my mind. This isn't working out because it keeps crinkling. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this gold leaf and I'm gonna stick it on there. So I'm just gonna pick some up and press it on. Oh my God. All right, well. You know, and you should have should have just left something alone and you're thinking, well, Hindsight's a wonderful thing. We, I'm saying that a lot lately. So, for the love of God, I'm going to try some of this and I'm going to try get, getting it off. As you can see, it hasn't stuck to it anyway. I might just get the UV resin, go round here and then get the gold leaf and then press it on and then cure it. That might uh, have a be uh, much better effect than using gel polish. It was a hit and miss, 50-50, didn't work. Next. All right, so I've just cured that in the big lamp and I've just got all the excess off and that's come out quite nice actually. I have got little bits that I've missed here and there so I'm just gonna go, I will at the end go over with the, whatchamacallit, the uh, resin again and go, go over them little bits. But all in all, that's come out pretty nice. I just think it finishes, it finishes them off doing the edges in something different uh, than using the paint pen. Yeah, I'm happy with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest.
Right, now I've done them, I'm going to see if a, a knife thing works going along the edge. I don't know whether it will or not. Oh yeah. So obviously I'm not trying to scratch the work I've, I've already done. I'm just going to go along and see if I can get rid of the extra bits on, on the edge. All right guys, they are finally finished. Just going around with a gold leaf again, just all around there, which makes me feel a little bit better about it. It looks, it looks, it looks finished off, shall we say. And obviously I did the same with this one as well. Very happy with these, absolutely love them. I will give them a, a clean up in a minute for pictures. Um, but yeah, what do we think guys? What do we think? Do you know, when, when you look at these, the butterflies had two sets of wings and I tried to get the wings up and you can actually see the 3D effect that the wings are making because they've come up. Yeah, they're so cool. I, I love these. Look at the holographic going on in there. Wow, that's just ace. I have never seen coasters like this before in my life. Um, and if, if somebody did have this as a coaster, you put your cup on and these crystals are, aren't affected by them. So I am going to put these with the rest of my collections of the things that I've done. And eventually I will put them up for sale. If anybody's interested, please let me know. Anyway, I am going to stop rambling. Really hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I loved doing these because they are so different. It's a bit of a shame that the crystals that I put in there just disintegrated. But there you go, you don't know until you try. <laughs> Alright guys, again, thank you so much for watching this one. Take care of yourselves wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.